What is happening, y'all? Welcome back. It's time to continue. So we got a lot of running to do. I'd suggest making it morning just so you can see nice and easily. Uh, so right around here, there's going to be a beetle. We're going to get that. Um, after that, there's some loot kind of on this island that we can hit. And then, I can't even really mark it. I guess I can kind of, but just out here, there's going to be a dragon that we're going to fight. So those are our first three. Uh, this beetle has access to one of the strongest ashes of war in the game. I'm sure you've seen a bajillion videos about it, but now you can make it your own. Let's see it running around. It's one of those invisible ones. Wait, right around here. It's actually a very short loop this one takes. And there it is, Seppuku. So what Seppuku does is you stab your sword into yourself, taking a little bit of damage, and then you coat it with blood. But the blood buildup is immensely strong. Like, far, far stronger than, you know, just having a bleed weapon or using blood grease or whatever the case is. So if you are interested in using bleed in some capacity, it's super good. Like, yes, 100% super good. Um, on top of that, uh, we have previously talked about uh, this boy, Lord of Blood's Exaltation. You get that attack power boost when you do Seppuku. So the idea is you pop Seppuku, 20% attack power, start fighting, and then you make the other target bleed, 20% attack power. It just, you know, it just stays. So very, very strong. Um, but we got that loot. Let's go ahead and get rid of that. And now we're just going to head on down and fight a dragon. Now this is a, a frost dragon. I would suggest going for either the Mimic or t -shear. I like the Mimic because I have Bleed on, and Bleed is fantastic against dragons. There it is. This one's going to be... Uh, it's a little hard to fight because you can't really see it all that well. I'm going to try and use actually one of my dragon things. I want it to land, and then I'm going to try and rot it. I'm a dragon too! Rawr! Okay, I routed it. That's all I wanted out of that. That's good. And now I'm just gonna try and get the damage. Ow, 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 ow. Stop that. Since we're using a weapon that has bleed, pretty much anywhere we hit this is gonna do really well. So hit the legs, hit the face, whatever. Ooh, a little late on my roll there. Just a pinch. You can see this thing has most of the same moves we're used to. The hitboxes are a little bit goofy because of Frost, but... If you get Frostbit, uh, you can pop one of these boluses. It's not 100% necessary, but when you're frostbit, keep in mind, 20% more damage. So, obviously, it's never nice to take 20% more damage. Ooh, wow. I thought I rolled that. I gotta get a quick heal in before... Not really focusing me all that well. I think I can just hit his legs and finish this though. So with the dragon down, uh, one, the mist will clear. As you can see, it's a lot easier to see. And on top of that, we now have a new draconic power available that gives us access to the upgraded frost breath. And at this point, the only upgraded power we are missing is the magma breath, which we get in the other snowy zone that we don't have access to just yet. Uh, so with him dead, we want to mark up here. We're gonna do that. 
we're gonna mark up here and then like here so for now head on down to marker number one that is the church head on down there you can see you can this is what I was talking about I mean like look this huge ice lake and there's like that one loot we grabbed over here and like one loot over here that's about it it's it's, it's a lot of empty space these zones look intimidating but it's a lot of like is there anything out here but go to the church that'll get us a sacred tier and also a uh, somber stone thing I need to finish my weapons is in Furumazula, so that's still a little ways away. Part of me is thinking maybe we should go through Furumazula and just not kill the boss just to get to the, the Sombering Stone, because with that you could start maxing out weapons. Um, right out front of the church. Here we go. Uh, that gives you access to somber fives and sixes, I believe. Grab Sacred Tear. And with that Sacred Tear, I think we have hit the mark. Let me see. Let me see. Do, 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 do. Flasks. That charge. Flask charges at maximum. Okay, so there's one more tier. Because the max is 14 plus 12. Here, okay, so we got the 14. Uh, so with that scroll my notes a little bit uh, tier 2 ice breath head towards the church oh there's a smithing 7 on the hill let's grab that real fast um, where is it at hang on a second head towards cliffs for some loot uh, seppuku beetle north is on the cliffs for golden leaven fight the ice dragon Head towards the church for a smithing seven on the hill, and then the church grace for the tear and the sum. Oh, up there. There we go. I'm like, which hill? There's so many hills. Go. It's our smithing seven. Which I think we are. I think we're holding off on smithing eights where we're at. Yeah, mainly smithing eights. Yeah, just don't get enough of those eights, but we'll get them soon. Uh, so from here, head on over towards the second marker. And this is going to be a uh, ever jail fight. Right when we get over there, there's going to be a spirit spring lift that's going to take us on up. There's also a couple graves here. They're surrounded by dogs, so, you know, kill the dogs, do whatever you want. Um, it's not going to go. They're not very deadly, so. Stop it. None of these are bleed dogs or anything as well, so you just gotta... You know, oh my god. Maybe maybe I'm under... I'm not giving the dogs enough credit. They almost killed me. Alright, gold moon. Peace bones from the doggy. I love getting my runes. Okay, here we go. And we will... Up, up we go. Uh, probably one of the hardest ever jail fights. I still think the uh, Electo is the hardest. But this guy can do some serious damage if you're not careful. I will say one thing that you can do uh, to make things a little bit easier, kind of cheeky even, is go for Lightning Grease. He puts on a buff that decreases his Lightning Resist. So just having Lightning Grease on, you're really going to tear him apart. I would just stay aggressive, honestly. Don't let him don't let him try and cast. He'll try and do some big stuff. This is Vike before he was consumed by the frenzy. That's gonna do a line of thunder. Don't let that hit. Let's see how hard he hits. No. Don't 
don't let that don't let him cast that. If you have a strong enough weapon, you can just stagger him out of that bullshit. But taking him down, Vike, we get a uh, really cool looking armor set. We also get Dragon Bolt Blessing. Vike's Dragon Bolt, excuse me, not Blessing, Vike's Dragon Bolt, which is uh, reduces your lightning resist, but remember, gives you red lightning on your weapon. Um, and that's like another buff you get out of it. It's, it's solid, it's just gonna reduce your lightning though, so keep that in mind. Uh, from there, we're gonna warp back here, and there's actually like two things we're gonna hit. I think it's like there and there roughly. But go back to the church, let's, let's spend all of these, uh, all these runes we're sitting on. Almost to the point where I don't need to have my thing on anymore. Uh, oh, hang on a second. We already got rid of, we did, okay. It's probably a little bit excessive. Let me see what else I would use. <laughs> and the attack power boost from bleed is nice. A little more poise. I mean, I could get with the weapon or thing that's coming up in the future. I guess I could just keep that on for now. It's not a bad choice considering I have a great shield on. Um, and I think I needed one more point in endurance. Let's see, we should be good to, yep, medium roll with that on, that's beautiful. Um, and then, besides that... No wait, I'm gonna need even more, because I have my Great Rune Effect active right now, right? Let me see. I do. Well, let me, let me take that off, I wanna... Well, that's gonna be on for a while, though. Doesn't necessarily matter, we're not doing any more invasion events, so... Um... Let's see, you're at five. Um, I'm getting five out of you, I'm getting five out of you. Let me work my strength up some. We get our strength back up to that 55 break point since endurance is looking good where it's at. I mean, the only time it's not gonna be active is invasions and we're strictly talking uh, PVE with this game. So I guess I could just count on on those five stat points, and that gets me at my 60 vigor breakpoint, my 55 dex. Endurance is looking good where it's at. So get my strength to 55. Yeah, plus with the great rune, I can use all those little dragon breaths, which is kind of fun. They're rare, I'm not using them a ton. Uh, here we go, that's the one that I made. Get that, the somber eight. Then just run on through. I mean, you can kill these guys if you want. Um, you already know how deadly lobsters are. These ones also cause frostbite, so. <laughs> kind of, uh, kind of rough. But if you want to be the lobster killer, by all means, I am going to instead go to the cave that's up ahead. It should be right around here. So it's kind of curve in. There it is, right by the jellyfish. There's a key. We have like an infinite amount of these at this point. You can even go back and get the doors I skipped, which I don't even think we had to skip them. I was just being cautious about how many keys we had at the start. Uh, so this is Spirit Caller Cave. This place is... Pretty straightforward. I don't even think we're gonna need our shield. I'm gonna take uh, take that off and put on the bow though. Having a bow is gonna be helpful here. Some stuff we wanna snipe. Uh, great arrows, what other kind of great arrows do I have? Golden great? I have very limited great arrows, it's surprising. Uh, so anyway, head on in. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. You wanna stay wide, this floor is gonna collapse. Stay wide a little bit. And you can see the snail. Wolf is trying to save it. Alright, so killing the snail is going to kill all of the wolves. The whole gimmick of this place is kill the snails. Uh, so go on and get the arteria leaf, and then we're actually going to drop down that hole. Uh, now, going this way, this would take you around to where the hole drop is, but dropping down the hole will actually put us like right on top of one of the snails. So I think it's a little bit easier. Uh, let me grab you too. Okay. Right around the middle of things here. Where's my hole at? Now the hole is not there. I'm like, I know there's a hole here. Why is it not collapsing? 
Drop on down, and there's our other snail. And then if we go a little bit forward, we can drop again. Yeah, look at that. Just boom, 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 boom. No bullshit. Just taking out the snails left and right. Uh, so just to kind of show where things are, if I jump up here, and I take that, that's where I would have come from, taking the initial path. But dropping put us on top of that snail, and then we were able to drop down and get that snail. So just, you know, short and shit, short and sweet, short and shit, <laughs> short and sweet, take them all out. Uh, from here, we want to crouch, walk by. There's two snails here we're going to kill, but we're just going to crouch and go on through. Let's see the first snail. White reed armor set, so you can be a samurai. That's going to despawn a couple of the wolves, but not all of them. And that should despawn almost everything. I know the last time when I did this, there was like one wolf that didn't despawn, but otherwise you're set after those two. Uh, let's see, Golden 12, Freeze and Grease, White Reed, Snail, Golden Rune, next snail's across the water, that clears mostly everything. Ah, and then up ahead we have our fun boss, the Godskin Clowns. So we're gonna do, um, I'm gonna pull out, well, I'll put on this. I could use this for the spell parry, but, so right now in 1.03, carry and retaliation is actually bugged. Uh, if you're doing PvP and somebody just looks at you and you instantly die, it's carry and retaliation. Um, I'm gonna briefly show this because I'm sure it's happened to a couple people and they're like, what the fuck is happening? Um, but right now you can effectively do this and this is going to get patched so I wouldn't recommend exploiting it, but you can do that parry it and the other player won't be able to see these swords so when these swords fire off they're just going to hit somebody and for some reason in 1.03 they changed the damage on this so this is capable of doing like 4,000 damage on an intelligence build which is just outrageous um Anyway, we'll just we'll put on the regular Earth Tree Gate Shield to, to to parry the stuff. These swords should disappear when I walk right through the fog. And we'll summon up our mimic. Nah, uh, uh, we're not doing that. Hustle down. And then right around the middle, we're gonna have a big boy show up. And now the fight's basically done. Uh, there's a snail that'll show up. Unfortunately, can't kill this snail in advance. We can shoot the Godskin Swaddling Cloth and a Black Flame Ritual. Black Flame Ritual is pretty mediocre. Uh, Godskin Swaddling, on the other hand, is pretty nice. It's going to give you health restoration on successive attacks. Now, we have a couple things, right? We have uh, Taker's Cameo, which is on defeating enemies, and this is on successive attacks. Personally, if you are power stancing, like using two scimitars, two swords, this is actually really good. Uh, anything that's going to attack fast, you know, dual katanas, twin blades, this will add up very quickly. Uh, so it can be very significant. With something like our particular setup, these are 
a little too slow to really see the benefit of it. I mean, I can show it to y'all. Um, but with something that's fast attacking, yeah, that is that is super worth. Super worth using. Great for just general progression and whatnot. Uh, but we're going to hop out and then we're going to go to the White Ridge Grace. Should be able to wrap up everything but Castle Soul this episode. Uh, so right over here, White Ridge Road. And now we're just going to clear out a bunch of stuff here. We're, we're basically just going to be a murder hobo. Everything here is going to die. Right, I'll, let, I'll let this thing hit me. Can you hit me real fast just so I can show the healing, please? See, I'm not even getting enough, like, in terms of, of successive attacks. Pulling stuff too fast for the effect to even pop. Wow. This is a poor, poor showing of it. I'm just going to take it off. We're just going to put that away. Um, I want to put on... I'm doing a lot of guard counters. So put that on. Why not? Uh, you can have a someone here if you want. Pull out Tish just to mix it up. What are you doing? Am I, am I heavy rolling because of that? Oh, it's because I have the great bow on still. I was like, what is happening here? You and the Mimic, or you and Tish. The idea just just kill everything you see here. No reason to leave anything alive. Uh, the only real enemy of concern here is the Prelate. Farm up the Fire Monk stuff here, of course. Uh, where are you at? There it is. Now this is what we want. Gimme, gimme, gimme. One of the best abilities in the game, the Prelate's Charge. I mean, it's not actually that good, but it's super fun, hilarious to use, especially with our hammer. I'll show that to y'all in just a little bit here. So that's that uh, Briar's move that I was talking about that we picked up. I mean, it's really cool, it's just, it's kind of slow and the tracking could be better. I honestly, part of my hope is that um, when we get DLC, and I would, I would bet dollars to donuts we're going to see DLC, um, I'm really hoping we see a big emphasis on more blood magic and more stuff related to Frenzy. Hey, 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 Chungi. There's a meme going around where somebody has his outfit and then the Millennia Helm and the Millennia Katana and it kind of like matches awkwardly well and the character's name is just Fat Millennia. That's like, it's like it's, this, this is fucked up. Because it actually like looks like he like made the character even look like her and everything. But the Fire Prelate's armor turns you into a thick boy. I mean we have a couple thick boy armors, you know, stuff like, like this. Just, it just makes you look rotund. Um, oh, Fire Monk. What is the stat on you compared to what I was using? You look really cool. I like that visually. Um, 16 poise. Wow. Okay, I might. Oh, no, it doesn't really fashion wise. There we go, Hoslos. I do like how Hoslos looks. I'll just keep using the wolf, why not? I might change my fashion up later, that's not a major concern. Anyway, with everything dead, the biggest thing was we wanted to grab um, the the charge guy up on the tree. Oh, there's a stone sword over here by the prelate, completely missed that. So stone sword by prelate, uh, prelate's charge and shiny by the tree. We're going to in go inside and cross for some loot. we got to fight our way through this, but... Here first, kill the dog. And over here. The golden rune 10. 
Uh, inside there are a couple of these flame guardians. They're actually kind of aggressive. Like they will, they will try to poke you down. And it, I mean, it kind of hurts, as you can see. Like, basically, don't, don't think, oh, it's just some person in a white robe. You know, they're not a threat. Those pokes will add up. I would suggest just ignoring them. Over here, we'll kill the rats. Bad rat, stop it. Stop it. There we go. Down. Get this. And then uh, over here, we'll drop... Another rat, and up the ladder we go. Not even giving it time to attack. It's like, no, you must die. Uh, right over here. Let's see a spot. No! Ah! Well, that is the spot. Can I even make this jump? Oh, wait, hang on. I can't make it. I know Torrent can. Oh, hang on. We need to be far enough off the castle wall. There we go. Alright, back up top. Back up top. Do -do 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 -do. Pretty easy to get over there. How are we looking on time? 26 minutes. Uh, we have Castle Soul, a Mariner, and a Death Bird. Oh, and the Gerd Tree Guardian. Yeah, there's actually a lot left. Uh, hmm. Right, jump out. Castle Soul isn't that long. I might be able to fit all that stuff into the Castle Soul episode. It would make sense to do Castle Soul first, in fact. Uh, so, once you get up top, kill them so they don't ambush you from behind. Here we go. Chief Guardian Arganthi. Stop that. The great shield he has is actually pretty cool. Uh, it's a cannon. So the idea is you load the shield. I'm trying to see if he'll use it on me. Like with the right right setup, you can hit for upwards of 2,000 damage on that thing. Sometimes just blocking and bashing is just as good. I wish he would do it. Uh oh, oh. I'll show it to y'all since he wouldn't. Anyway, get the one-eyed shield. Get the one up here and go up. That's right, I still was supposed to show y'all Phantom Slash, which is also pretty good. Up at the tippy tip top, we get access to the Giant's Prayer Book, which if you have been dying for pyromancies, we finally get some pretty decent spells. Uh, so let's go on over to here. We'll turn that in. I'll show those spells, and I'm going to show off the shield and that Ash of War that I'd promised like an episode or two ago. And then we can do... Uh... Yeah, we can do Castle Soul and the rest of this in the next part. Um... So in general, I want to be honest here. Um, pyromancies just aren't that good in this game. I think they're going to get a buff in the future. Their damage is kind of low for the time being. Um, however, these two aren't too shabby. Um, so flame fall upon them. Very nice AOE option here. Um, I wish it could multi-hit and it doesn't, which I think is a drawback because flame of frenzy, each of those frenzies can hit. In this, you throw out a bunch of fireballs, but you can't, like, hit an enemy with all seven of them. If you could, this would easily be a top-tier spell. Um, so, you know, it's good to clear out groups of enemies. Now, Giant's Flame Take Thee, this is actually really fun. You get decent damage for the FP cost here. Uh, in particular, I would suggest charging it because it's going to increase the potency. Uh, do a very big explosion. And the fun thing about this is if you free-aim this in PvP, 
like toss it ahead of somebody when it explodes it knocks people on their ass so the idea is you throw that down boom it knocks them on the ground and then you can run up and do like you know a crazy weapon art or flame pillars or whatever else you want to do so i do like giant's flame a lot and i like flame of fall upon them but i think it needs a buff um, but anyway uh we also oh we already did law of regression yeah that was a while ago uh, so let me see. Let me go. Let's go back here. We'll just we'll fight some of this stuff. I'll show off that stuff I mentioned before we wrap up. All right, so a while ago I had talked about using uh, Phantom Slash. Phantom Slash is a two-parter. When you use it, it goes slash 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 slash. And if you can get off that full combo, boy, it chunks the bosses. Staff of Guilty, that's not a guaranteed drop, by the way, I don't believe. I think it's just a random drop from them. Um, as for the shield, now keep in mind the shield is not leveled up. So, you know, this damage is going to be kind of low. Um, but you level it up, the shield can do some work. I mean, on top of that, you know, it's, it's 100 physical shield. So if you're not a fan of, like, the shield bash... Or the shield bash that I have here, the golden retaliation, and you but you like great shields and you want something more unique. This one's pretty cool, man. This thing can uh get back a wallop for sure. Let me uh let's, let's pick a target. Who's our target? It's 300 damage, and that is unupgraded. An upgrade uh, upgraded and like something with like a uh, flame grant me strength or whatever, you're gonna hit easily over a thousand damage with it and the last thing i'm going to show is just delightful um umbrella's charge on this I'm gonna keep it quality this is fun though watch this i need something bigger i need like a fire monk prelate's probably too big you can farm him for the armor by the way if you want it same with the other prelate. And, uh, remember how this heals based on that number of hits you're dealing? Wow, okay, I'm taking kind of too many hits. All right, that's fine. Where I'm at. He's lucky he got on a ledge. That ledge saved his life. Oh no, I died. Well, anyway, I demonstrated what I wanted to with it. You saw the health just being like. Doot, 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 doot. These guys have beards. I've never noticed that. Um, anyway, we are going to wrap up, though. Uh, in the next episode, we have... Oh, hang on. Let me go grab my stuff. Are we... I don't know. We're still medium load. I'm medium load with this shield. Might not be medium load with fingerprint. I'll check. If I am, that would be fantastic. Uh... No, I'm heavy low with that. I'm medium low with both of these. It's just so heavy at 29. Like, I mean, there's a reason it has the highest defense of the various shields in the game, but... Oh, boy. It is a hefty boy. Let's switch things up. 69.1. Oh, I don't have the 48 strength without my rune active. That's right. Yeah, so we have to keep the runes active for now. Uh, anyway, for our next episode... So over here we have Castle Soul... Uh, besides that, there's like an Erd Tree Guardian over here. There's some ruins we got to do over here. Side quest stuff over here. Merchant over here. Uh, Mariner and Deathbird. But there's a thing on the bridge we need to get. So what I might actually do is uh, starting from here, I may just hit the Mariner, go down to Castle Soul. We make Castle Soul the focal point. And then after that, we kind of wiggle around and get all the other stuff. I think that's going to be a smarter approach versus tackling the bosses because the thing is we have to come after castle soul we have to come back to this bridge for a painting so it's like we might as well do that after castle soul uh, but anyway stay tuned more is coming your way in a little bit i'll catch you all then